So let's get to it. This is your most basic ME storage setup. Why is ME awesome? Because instead of chests, you can just use this. And you can dump a lot more stuff into it, and it's much more useful. So here in the middle, we have the controller. The controller must be powered. It is powered right now by these energy cubes. It can be powered by nearly anything. When it is powered, you will see these nice lights. When it's not, you won't. If you right click on it, it shows you all of the items attached to the network. So presumably, the controller is necessary for all these things to talk to each other. As a side note, which we're going to show later, um, if you want to have this ME wireless access terminal, this is how you pair them. You put it up here and it pairs them. I'll show that later. Anyway, on the right here, you have the disk drive. This is where disks go. If you have no disks, you have no storage. So let's go ahead and put a 1K disk in here. Now that nice little light, green light shows up. Over here on the left, you have your storage terminal or your ME terminal. If we didn't have any disks, we couldn't interact with this. We couldn't put things in or take them out. But now that we have this, we can. So let's say we're coming back from adventuring and we just want to dump everything in there. We can easily do that. It's all sorted. You can sort it different ways. Up here in the left-hand corner, so by number of items, alphabetical, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, oh, I did want to show one thing that I totally forgot. How much storage this stuff takes up? So if we look over here at our disk, we can see we have zero of 1024 bytes used and zero of 63 types. If we put in a single, whoops, let's go ahead and put in a single cobble. Now it takes up nine bytes. However, if we dump a lot more cobble, it will still take in nine bytes up to 64 cobble. And then if we go to 65, let's go ahead and do that. Well, first, just to show you, I'll dump in some more. Same amount of storage is taken. Oh, no, it did take more. Okay, I guess I don't know exactly how that works. But the general idea is that you can dump a lot of stuff in here. And a 1K disk is the smallest, but there are up to 64K disks, which are expensive to make, but store a lot of stuff. And once it's in here, it's much more useful. So we still have quite a bit of storage left on this 1K disk. There's a 64K disk. All right. If all these items are next to the controller, they will create a ME network. So you could, we could actually have had all these blocks next to each other with no cable, but for logical separation of the bare minimum setup, I did add this cable. And right here, we just have some other useful items. This is an ME storage chest. There's nothing in it, and you can't put anything in it unless you have a disk. You put the disk in the upper right hand corner. Let's go ahead and grab our disk. And that will show uh, everything that's on the disk and make it available. So you can just carry a single disk around. So you can move your base real easily. You can put everything on a disk. That's all it's good for. If you have a whole network set up, you don't really need the ME chest. But here we have a Another terminal, but it's a crafting terminal, so it's very similar. Um, the only difference is you can craft on it. So let's create some of these cobble steps, something along those lines, cobblestone wall. Um, so if you if you just create a pattern here and then create these items by left clicking, it will pull. Well, it'll pull from here first, but after that, it will pull from your storage. So let's go ahead and right click, create as many as possible. And when I try to dump them in there, of course, they get sorted up here, left or left. Here we have our wireless access point. Now, if you have a wireless access terminal, as we're holding here, then you can access the network from uh, the surrounding area. Again, to pair it, you go to the controller and you drop your wireless access controller in the right here, and it pairs it that way. If you don't do that, you can't access the network. So we can access it from a certain number of blocks away, and you can extend the network slightly. So now there's no signal when I try to access it. So you have to be fairly close. Basically, you can access it within inside your base and not any farther. So that is the basics of the ME storage network. Happy YouTubing.